Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading, we're going to do something a little different, a little cool, a little experimental. So today's reading is what mind-bending reality are you about to enter into, okay? We have four piles. Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four. I am using the Autonomic Tarot. I actually got this tarot deck in Paris when I was visiting for a month, and I really love it. It's super cool. So pile number one, we have the Ace of Discs with Daring. Pile number two, we have the Hierophant. Pile number three, we have the Fool. And pile number four, we have the universe. Okay. So again, my dreamy dreamers, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four. I love you all so much and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this ace of pentacles. I believe this is either the ace of pentacles or the... 10 of pentacles from the autonomic tarot. So this deck that I got from Paris, it only comes with the major arcanas and the uh, aces and the tens, if that makes sense. So the aces of each minor arcana and the tens of each minor arcana. And it doesn't come with court cards or the rest of the, mi uh, the minor arcana. So in regarding to the in regards to the mind bending reality you're about to uh, enter into, you're about to enter a whole new way of like looking at life, a whole new area of abundance that you've never. I, I'm getting that you never in your wildest dreams even could have conceptualized by yourself, right? Like this is totally spirits doing and uh obviously you had your say to an extent but like the reality you're about to come into is going to be so abundant opulent is the word so abundant so opulent um i'm just getting like eureka from this um from this card right it's going to be so unlike your current life is what I'm getting, you, it's going to feel and seem unrecognizable, right? So it's like you're beholding, you're beholden to something, right? You're beholding it. You're like, it's almost like you can't believe it to the point where you're just inspecting every inch of this newfound reality, this new, like I'm getting like newfound glory. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a complete night and day transition from where you once were. You know what I mean? Um, so let's hop into your reading pile number ones. I am using the Angel Tarot by Travis McHenry, I believe. I got this off of magic with the CK.com. Um, so yeah, let's let's go into it. At the bottom of the deck, we have judgment, and it is the angel I'm Maya. I'm Maya. I'm Maya. I'm Maya. <laughs> Excuse my pronunciation. It's uh, this is the judgment card, and it's card number fifty-two, and it says God hidden in darkness. Okay, and it says atonement of errors destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. Okay, so this is a very kind of like this is a very kind of intense deck that I'm using, but I just wanted to use it because I bought it and I've I rarely use it unless it's for pile selection so i'm like why not it's a tarot deck let's use it so i'm getting also good hidden in darkness god hidden in darkness and good hitting hidden in darkness right god equals good so to speak right if we're doing a play on words here so atonement of errors destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them so i've i'm getting the darkness is eroding and the light is about to shine through like in whatever aspect you have been uh, facing darkness, right? These could have been like dark thoughts, you know, incessant thoughts that you, it's almost like you didn't even know if there was a light at the end of the tunnel, right? We just had a new moon in Libra on the 25th. 
it's the 20 today's the 28th so just three days ago we're still feeling the presence of that new moon so you yourself pile number ones could have been feeling like almost like a load being lifted right some of you not everyone you know because obviously it depends on the transits and you know your earth chart and yada 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 but i feel like you yourself could have felt or could be feeling um coming soon it's it's evident here right the transition from a dark period to a light period right a lighter state of being right um yeah it's almost like this rescue for, out of the darkness right this rescued sense and this new perspective on life that you've been given and also resources to help with this perspective in in any sort of way right so I'm going to do the Celtic cross position and, you know, I'll kind of do our freestyle thing as it, you know, along with it. So in the you now heart of the matter position, we have the two of pentacles with Poyel. Okay. The angel Poyel and it's card number 56. So you uh, add those numbers together. That's 11. So it's a master number in and of itself. Okay. Uh, I feel like you have been really you have been really working on your subconscious mind, your subconscious beliefs, especially in regards to what you tell yourself, what how you talk to yourself, okay? Uh, what you say to yourself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and it's helping you, pile number ones, okay? We have God who supports the universe, okay? So you might also be interested in pile number four as well. Or you might have been interested in pile number four as well, pile number ones. But this is, again, the two of pentacles with the angel Poyel. It says, God who supports the universe. It says, fortune and fame fulfills any request, right? So it says, fortune and fame, period. And then the added description of this card is fulfills any request, okay? So what I'm getting is the angel Poyel here is coming in you know, symbolically speaking, right, through this reading, the angel Poyel through this reading, through the two of pentacles as it pertains to this deck, is coming to shift something in your life. And it could be more, it, it, not even it could be, it is more fortune. It is more notoriety and not in fame and it's, you know, quintessential terms, you know, but your, maybe your notoriety within your group right? Maybe your notoriety within your family, maybe your notoriety within your community. I feel like it's going to be emphasized because something is about to really catapult, you know? I know we, you know, me and, um, uh, a viewer of this channel, we love the word precipice, but you are literally on the precipice of something great. And it's almost like this angel or your angels, ancestors, and guides, God spirit source energy is about to really turn things on its head for you in the best way possible by fulfilling the request of your heart, right? That could be for more fortune. That could be for more notoriety as it pertains to maybe like you're trying to get something off the ground running, so to speak, right? And maybe you just need more press or more notability. So, you know, you know how they say, you can have a fantastic product, you can have a fantastic service, but if no one knows about it, you know, it's not going to make the headway that you would want. So I'm getting pile number ones, uh, the mind bending reality that you're about to enter into is one of a lot of fortune. And it come like almost like fame or more of an audience coming with that territory because you have really been balancing something really well. Okay. In the, um, blockage slash challenge, uh, position or, you know, the crux, you know, in the Celtic cross, the first two cards, you know, cause they're supposed to be crossed, right? And the first two cards are really like the crux of the reading, like what the overall reading is kind of implying, right? So, but, you know, we can also use it as a blockage slash challenge because, you know, you know, duality, you know? So, um, eight of wands here with the, the heel, the heel. Okay. The angel V please excuse my pronunciation. You know, these biblical 
angel names are kind of hard to pronounce. So thanks in advance. So with in the challenge slash blockage or just the crux of the reading position, we have the Eight of Wands. And it is the Angel of Vihul. Okay, card number 49. Okay, so four and nine is 13. Okay, so I'm getting like also goddess energy here. Um, and it says the great and exalted God. It says grandeur makes one passionate towards God. Okay, so God, spirit, source, energy, whoever your creator is. Okay, so um, yeah, I feel like something, I feel like sweet music to your ears is about to come in. You're really about to be blessed pile number ones whether you realize this or not okay and it's coming in quick and it could pose a little like shake up okay i feel like you know with one cycle ending in your life and another one is commencing like immediately i feel like it could be a little jarring a it could be a little jarring for you, all the opportunities that are pouring into your life, okay? And how to juggle it, you know, how to juggle the success, you know, because when success comes, we have to prepare for it or, you know, we have to prepare for the blessing that it is because it could slip through our fingers, right? So that's what I'm getting here is it this, this fortune fame, so to speak, is coming in rather quickly, very quickly, actually. So, uh, you know, maybe this reading will prepare you or maybe you've been preparing for the blessings that you have been asking for okay so in the conscious goal position we have the seven of pentacles and it's uh nimiya nima maya nima maya it is angel nima maya with the seven of pentacles card number 57 okay so again card number 13 if i'm not no card number 12 excuse me so uh adding five and seven together that is 12 so um you know i know 12 is like the angel number i have an angel numbers book and if my if my memory serves me 12 or 12 12 is about kind of like friendship and helping maybe helping someone or helping out a friend or something like that if my memory serves me correctly okay this is also kind of reminding me ironically enough of the hermit because they have this lantern here right now it's not the six pointed star but it is a lantern and they're kind of finding their way right but uh this seven of pentacles with nima maya angel nima maya it says the lovely god and it says discernment general prosperity the deliverance of prisoners okay so again i feel i'm feeling like the conscious goal here as it pertains to this mind bending reality you're about to enter into is, um, you know, you really are discerning your thoughts on a lot of things. You're really questioning your life. You're really asking pertinent questions about your life moving forward. Pile number, um, how number ones, okay? And I feel like you are contemplating and discerning a lot of things, a lot of facts from fiction, a lot of um, wants, needs, desires, things of that nature. I feel like you're, you're, it's like almost like housekeeping, like, you know, the general housekeeping, so to speak, like out with the old, in with the new. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I keep this? Should I, you know, um, get rid of that, so to speak, right? Even in regards to maybe your schedule as well is what I'm getting. Like, I feel like you are really thinking about things because you're really growing up, right? You're really growing into your lifestyle that you've been asking for, that you've been wanting as well, okay? And it's interesting because it says general po prosperity. So overall, I feel like you know, I feel like pile number ones, you've been asking for a lot of abundance. Like just overall, you have been like abundance and romantic love. Because this is kind of what this is insinuating here, right? Um, uh, With the cards and you guys will, y'all will catch my drift once, you know, we finish the reading. But you're just in a what's next. You're You're really kind of like picking up the pace the pace is picking up in your life right now and you're really just the essentials. I feel like this came out last reading. The the essentials you want to take with you and everything else you're leaving. Okay? So in the um 
unknown influence position. We have the Two of Cups with Leuia, Leuia, Angel Leuia. Okay, card number 19, 1 and 9, that's 10, which dwindles down to 1. So I feel like you're, it's, it's like a fresh start, right? It says the swiftly hearkening God. It says fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. For some reason, I was pre-shuffling the um, magic spell cards deck and i'm gonna use this towards the end but i was pre-shuffling that and grace kind of kept coming up so um yeah we have with the unknown influence in the unknown influence position we have the two of cups with liuaya liuaya okay please forgive me if i'm butchering this but um yeah so that's these are the angels and it says fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God. So with the two of cups here, you're not going to have to undergo these changes alone, nor do you want to, you know, I feel like you're really about to uh, bring in the next chapter of your life with a community and with maybe specifically a person who you've been uh, wanting to call in. This could be, you could call them a twin flame, a soulmate connection, you name it. But this could really be like maybe the love of your life, you know, that's coming in as well as all of this abundance. And it's almost like when that person or when these people, this could be like, you know, just a friendship that you've been craving or a connection um, and a really solid one that you have been craving, no matter, you know, what it looks like. Um, I feel like simultaneously, that's when this abundance is going to come in or it could be linked right so in the past in in the past um i think this is the past influence position we have the eight of swords with meb me mebahel mebahel angel mebahel mebahel okay card number 14 one and four that's five so that's change okay it says god protector and savior all right, it says truth and justice, protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. Ooh, okay. So you're protected, okay? You're protected, your fortune is protected, the things that you're ushering in, the things that you're calling in, the abundance, the, the, the um, fortune, the notoriety, the fame, you know? I don't know why I don't want to say fame because it's such such a loaded word, but the fame or the fortune or the notoriety that you've been calling in, uh, the acknowledgement, right, that you've been calling in pile number ones is coming in for you. And I feel like in the past, you had to go through the this eight of swords type of energy to rebuke, to get it out. It had to like purge out through you. That's what I'm getting. Okay, with Mebahel, Angel Mebahel, okay? This is kind of a cool depiction. So um, in the approaching influence, we have the Ace of Cups with Nethael, Neth 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 the Angel Nethael. Please excuse me if I'm butchering this. I already know I am. So we have card number 54, 5 plus 4, that's 9. It says, God, the King of Heaven. Okay, it says, Rejuvenation obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. So the approaching influence is, I feel like you're going to be inundated with a lot of love, a lot of self-love, a lot of passion and emotional abundance as well, okay, with the Ace of Cups here. So it's mind bending because you're literally about to be about to be living in this reality that you could have only dreamt of. But it's better than what you dreamt of because it's it's real. It's happening. Right. It's it's happening in real time. So in um, <laughs> in your inner resources and talent position, we have the high priestess with the angel. I lie. I lie. Elia. Please forgive me if I'm butchering this. I already know I am, but card number 44, you could be seeing the number 444 a lot lately, okay? So your angels are really here to protect you. Uh, four and four, that's eight. So again, a lot of abundance, a lot of abundance, a lot of dwelling on the infinite as well. It says God, the eternal lasting, right? A lot of dwelling on infinity or the infinite God spirit. Uh, what's out yonder in the ethers, so to speak, right? 
So it says success protection from magistrates. Yeah. So there's a lot of success here. And I feel like with this high priestess card being in your inner resources and talents. So a lot of you all could have like, could not only have, because I feel like we all kind of have it, but use and cultivate and uh, tend to your sixth sense, right? Your sixth scent. Uh, that could be clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairaudience, you name it, right? But you really pay attention. And I feel like God's spirit source energy is tapping you into a lot of secrets, you know? You could be feeling it. You could be also feeling it in your uh, your crown chakra pile number ones. You could be feeling like lightheaded a lot, like, and not in like, yeah, almost like lightheaded or dizzy, you know, a lot. Um, and if you are, you know, you have to take the measures that you need to take for yourself, right? But please only take it if it resonates, my loves. Only take it if it resonates. If you are not, if, you know, don't, if it doesn't fit, don't force it, right? But what I'm also trying to say, you could be experiencing ascension symptoms right now, okay? Because I feel like there's just a lot going on on the planet, okay? And in the ethers right now. And it's high tide. It's, it's, it's a lot going on and I feel like you're sensing it, you're feeling it, you're knowing something's up, you're knowing something's coming, you feel like the other shoe is about to drop in a, in a marvelous way, don't get me wrong, but you feel it, you you sense what's, what's happening here, what's coming up for you, okay? So um, in the how others see you, we have the Ten of Pentacles with Monadel, okay? The Angel Monadel, card number 36. That's nine, okay? So you could be a light worker, uh, pile number ones. You could help a lot of people, you know? People might see you as very honorable, as very, like, committed to what it is that you do and who you are and the things that you say you want, right? Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, uh, you know, people could see you as extremely abundant, extremely stable, like you have you have it all on on Earth, you know, or you will have it all, you know. Um, so this card says inner and outer work. Hello. So you guys could be a light worker who's done a lot of the inner work and who is help who is helping others or maybe your life's mission is to help others do the work as well. It says helps one keep their job, protects against disasters. I love this. So you're very protected. We keep getting the reiteration of protection here. I feel like things are very stable for you and they will be and they are going to be. This is the new mind bending reality because it's almost like you just went from complete instability to like everything you could have ever wanted. Everything, literally your needs, you ha you need not for anything anymore, right? But it just goes into everything you could have ever wanted and more, right? So in the hopes and fears position, we have the two of swords. And this is the angel Aniel, okay? Card number 37. Again, that's 10, dwindles down to one. So I feel like these are a lot of thoughts, a lot of manifestations, that's happening. And it says, God, Lord of all virtues. And it says, breaking the circle lifts opposing barriers and brings victory. So I feel like you're going to have a lot of peace in your relationships and your uh, connections that you're kind of like dealing with and dwelling in pile number ones. It's just like a night and day difference. I just keep getting night and day. Like, it's like you found something and you're holding on to it. Like, you are literally like basking in it and, and just in awe of it, right? Um, again, with the hopes and the fears, with the two of swords, your hopes is to find peace, is to find equanimity and, you know, kind of like that notion of peace be still, right? Uh, and you're, I feel like the fears could lie in, the lack of harmony uh, that you have maybe endured in the past coming back, right? But I don't think that they are pile number pile number ones, okay? So with the Ace of Pentacles, so you guys got two cards in the outcome position. So in the outcome position, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card. The Ace of Pentacles with Kethel, K Kethel, Angel Kethel. 
card number eight, okay? And then we have the adored God. It says divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agriculture and, produc and production. And it says, uh, excuse me, rules agricultural production. And then we have justice with Kaliel, card number 18. So that's one and eight is nine. And it says the invocable God. It says justice makes truth known in court, causes innocence to prevail. So again, your outcome looks beautiful. I feel like you're really given the opportunity. You're really granted the uh, grace and the opportunity, and you're really entering this portal, right? So with this card, let me check. I think this might be the 10 of disc if I'm not mistaken. But in any case, you guys either had the 10 of pentacles come out twice or you've had the ace of pentacles come out twice. So let me let me check here. So, yeah, this is the 10 of disc, which is ironic because she's just holding one, but that's fine. So you you have the 10 of pentacles come in twice. So in regards to this mind-bending reality that you're about to experience, it's about to be like heaven on earth. You're about to start living your manifestations here on earth. You're not going to have to wait for them, okay? Um, and in the outcome card, we have the ace of pentacles and the justice card, okay? So things are really being balanced in your favor right now, pile number ones. And with the ace of pentacles in the tarot, it is a gateway card. It is like a portal, okay? So it's the ace of pentacles and the eight of um, cups. There might be another gateway card, but I know those two are for sure gateways into like whatever realm that it is that we're kind of heading into okay so let's pull some more cards tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages what else do our pile number ones need to know right now to conclude their reading clear concise accurate messages what mind bending realities are our pile number ones entering into spirit what mind-bending realities are our power number ones entering into spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. What mind-bending realities are power number ones entering into? I might not use this, this deck because it doesn't seem like the cards want to come out. Thank you. What mind-bending realities? Okay. Look at this. So we have card number 13, energy. It says, a light inside my fire divine energy fill me, make me shine. So I feel like on top of everything, you're about to start feeling a lot more energized than you typically do, okay? This could be just through this new lifestyle you're about to start living, okay? Let's see. Tell me more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What mind-bending realities, okay? What mind-bending realities are our pile number ones about to enter into? Oh, wow. Okay. So look at that. The victory card came out, card number 35. It says, I shall celebrate, I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. So not only are you growing from what it is that you've been through, but you're not resting in your victory and you're not acting childish about it. You're actually obtaining a lot of wisdom and um, you're maturing through it, right? The wins that you receive in life. Because you know that every it, everyone's not allotted the same... Everyone's not allotted the same. You know, certain, or certain people turn away from it because they dim themselves. They dim their lights, pile number ones. And the fact that you're able to be who you are and show who you are unrelentingly is a blessing. It is, you know. Yes, you, you have done it. You have chose to kind of like reframe your story and tell an empowering one. But certain people, they... They just don't, you know, and that's a blessing in and of itself, okay? So one more card, Spirit. What mind-bending reality are pile number ones entering into? 
Well, mind bending reality are upon everyone's interest. Wow, look at this. We have card number 25, good cheer. With kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule so mote it be. I love this. You're just, look at this. Like everything you could have, on earth as it is in heaven, that's how you're going to be living. Look at this, card number five. We have justice twice, okay? By the power of three by three, ma'at deliver justice to me. Card number five. This is a beautiful reading. Something told me to record this because I was going to wait another day, but I was like, let's just do it. So I'm going to end off your reading, uh, pile number ones, with one more message from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving pile number ones clear, concise, accurate advice, guidance, and wisdom. One last card to conclude our pile number one's reading spirit. Clear, concise, accurate message. Okay, so you guys had two cards. We're going to take it. We're going to go with it. Okay, so we have card number 11 in perfect harmony. Things are just working out for you. I feel like because you're finally telling yourself an empowering story instead of a disempowering story, you're not letting your emotions control you, pile number one's but you're controlling your emotions, you are creating your reality and you're not on autopilot. You are literally conscious, okay? We have card number two, Roots of Abundance. I feel like you have rooted yourself. You have like brainwashed yourself or rooted yourself so deeply as it pertains to abundance that now it's showing up here on the 3D. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Card number 17, the storyteller. I was just saying this. I was just saying this, pile number ones. You, you are a fortunate person who tells yourself empowering stories, right? You are not, um, you don't just let life happen to you. You create the life that you want to lead and it's really benefiting you right now doing, doing these things. Okay. And, and, and your mindset, it really is benefiting you, okay? So I'm going to read the key concepts of these two cards, and, you know, we're going to finish your reading. So we have uh, card number two with Roots of Abundance. It says, key concepts, being stabilized by deep roots, anchoring yourself and feeling secure in your life, trust and belief in abundance. Exactly. And I feel like you have really worked on this for a long time your belief of your deservingness to be abundant in this lifetime, in this lifetime. So we have card number 17, the storyteller. It says identity, positive self-definition, teaching others how to treat you through the stories you tell about who you are. Exactly. So you created this, you co-created this with spirit, with God, with source energy, you know, with your angels, it, it, you didn't just leave it up to them. You didn't just leave it up to fate or destiny. You've been side by side creating it as, you know, as the time has been progressing, pile number one. So amazing job. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Okay. So with that being said, pile number ones, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who you think would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Uh, again, if you are interested in a um, if you are interested in a personal reading, my email will be in the description box down below. Um, and you know, this is not a monologue. This is a dialogue. I would love to hear from y'all in the comments. Leave me a comment. Like, let's do some really cool stuff with this channel because I feel like this channel could end up helping a lot of people, okay? So with that being said, my dreamy dreamers, I love you so much. And until next time, I will see you in your next reading. Bye. Pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose the Hierophant as your mind-bending reality, okay, that you're about to enter into. So you're not doing the solo dolo thing anymore, okay? I feel like it's you're about to start doing things as a couple, okay? As uh, two heads are better than one, so to speak, okay? So this technically doesn't have to mean marriage. It doesn't have to mean being with someone uh, in a romantic sense, even though that's what I'm getting. Um, you know, it's not going to apply for every single person, right? 
But what I am getting is that instead of just doing things by yourself, you're going to start implementing maybe a team or maybe just another person to help you with that, right? To bring you up, to bring you into a, a higher state, whether it be a higher state of mind, a higher state of you know consciousness, whether it be a higher state in your finances, whether it be a, a promotion in your job or a higher um, level in your business or a higher level in like your creativity, you name it, right? But you're going to start doing things as a pair, okay? At very least as a pair and not just alone. It's not just going to be you running your business. You're going to get an assistant, you know, just as an example. It's not just going to be you in your house or apartment anymore you're gonna get a puppy or maybe you're going to you know find a companion or the love of your life is about to enter into your life okay um something along those lines okay so um you're i'm just getting the mind bending reality is it's it's going to happen so quickly like i feel like it's it's just going to just show up you know like when you least expect it obviously right and it's almost like this gift, this just, it's just this outpouring of like, where did this come from? <laughs> like, where, like, huh? Like, it just came out of nowhere. You know, it's like, you thought about it one day and like, literally that thought, like, just in the nick of that thought, that's when this person comes up to you and asks you out or you get that text or you get that phone call or you get that confirmation or you get that email, so to speak, Okay. So I digress. Let's move into your reading. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so you're moving into calmer waters. Pile number twos. You're moving into calmer, calmer waters. We have the angel N-A-U-L. N-A-U-L, if I'm pronouncing that right. Excuse me if I bitch, butcher all of these names. Please forgive me in advance. But um, yeah, this is the angel N-I-U-L, Six of Swords. So you're entering a more gentler time. You're you're becoming more gentler. You're becoming more refined. Uh, and and when I say you, I mean like your state of mind, right? The, the, the mentality that you're entering is becoming a more like you're going with the flow, right? And it's like the tides are turning. It went from like a really kind of like, you know, uh, a turbulent tide to a gentle ease, you know, stream or something, right? Like a stream of consciousness. So with the Six of Swords and a UL, card number 63, six and three, that's nine. So I feel like you're closing off a lot of chapters in your life. Maybe that no longer serves you. Maybe that's doing things alone no longer serves you, okay? You know, uh, what is it? How do how does that one saying go? Uh, what get what got you here won't get you there, right? So now since you're up level up up leveling now that you're entering this new state, you need to do start doing things different, and maybe that's not writing solo, right? Doing things just on your own, incorporating more people, incorporating a team, incorporating a partner into your life uh, that will help you, okay? So again, we have the gentle God. It says perception of unity. Hello. Oh my goodness. I didn't even... That's so interesting. Perception of unity protects against accidents, heals the sick, okay? So I feel like, you know, if you have been feeling like just like in mental duress, you're, you're, you're entering this calm period in your life. Okay. You're entering this, this almost transcendental period in your life. It feels like you're just like being moved, you know, you're being guided, gliding, you know, it's almost like you're gliding on air, so to speak. Okay. You're gliding into the next chapter of your life. There's no strenuous, crazy happenings that is like, you know, just thrusting you into it. It's like you're being glided into the next, this mind-bending reality that you're about to call your life, okay? So I digress, pile number twos. Let's uh, start with your reading. We're going to do the Celtic cross spread layout, and I'm going to, you know, kind of incorporate my freestyle readings, you know, in between. So we have in the heart, in the you now, heart of the matter position, we have the eight of cups with AI. A-I-L, if I'm pronouncing this right, A-I-L, okay? The angel A-I-L. We have card number 67, so that is a 13. So uh, one in three, that's four. So you could be seeing four, four, four a lot lately. Your angels, your angels could be uh, 
really around you and surrounding you right now, really pouring into you. You see how this little baby angel is like pouring this vase or this, this uh, container just over something i feel like you're really being poured into right now or just really being provided for and taken care of with the eight of cups it's another gateway card okay so again mind bending reality you're entering entering into you're entering into this portal that you know maybe you didn't see for yourself at first or maybe you couldn't see things clearly right um this could be you're leaving like I said earlier, in regards to this Hierophant card, you're leaving the, the solitude, the aloneness, almost like the hermit, right? You're leaving that state of like the hermit for good. And you're going to your wish. And that could have been marriage. That could have been just doing things not by yourself all the time. Uh, doing things in a couple, doing things in a pair, uh, doing things, you know, with other people by your side, because that really makes life more enriching, okay? Okay. It says transformation gives consolation and adversity, okay? So you're really kind of going through this transformative period in your life too, okay? Um, I feel like you're just being poured into. I feel like you're so used to always pouring into people and now you're about to be poured into pile number, um, pile number two. So in the blockage slash challenge position or in the uh i always like to say the first two cards in the um celtic cross is like the crux of the reading is just basically like the summation of the reading but you know if it's a blockage or a challenge and it resonates with you take it if it's not if it just like oh my gosh these two cards are like the the pentacle right the the amalgamation of what i'm going through then take that as well okay so with the in the blockage i'll just for now <laughs> i'll just call it the blockage slash challenge position we have the six of pentacles with aladia okay the angel aladia card number 10 okay one plus zero that's one so a lot of thoughts a lot of manifestations occurring right now with the six of pentacles there's a lot of balanced giving and receiving a lot of reciprocity a lot of like you know two becoming one right <laughs> uh so to speak and look at this this is so cool because this looks like almost like a ring bearer like look marriage that's what i'm saying like even in the um Go check out pile number twos if you haven't seen my reading, uh, what is being hidden, <laughs> what's being hidden or whatever. Uh, go check that reading out because I think you, you might kind of catch my drift as to what's being hidden. It's obviously not being hidden any longer if this applies to you, but you could be getting married or you could be leveling up your commitment to someone, okay? Or someone really wanting to give you that commitment and vice versa. Someone you feel re you feel reciprocated, you feel seen, okay? By someone or something, okay? This says the favorable God, it says divine grace cures rage and pestilence absolves the guilty so you know i feel like you're about to enter this whole new state of being where like it almost feels like you're being your slate has been washed clean all of your quote-unquote sins have been forgiven all of the the um what is it called the uh transgressions or whatever have been for forgiven whether that be you're forgiving someone else someone else forgiving you the two of you forgiving each other it's like you're just starting fresh and you're starting over and it feels good to do that with someone you love and care about right now okay or that could be anybody okay take it take what resonates leave the rest okay so in the conscious goal position we have the magician with the angel Nithaya, Nithaya, I think if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Card number 25, two and five is seven, okay? So this is definitely divine, okay? Uh, we have, it says the generous God. It says spiritual wisdom and magic helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. Again, pile number two. If you have not saw, uh, watched that pick card reading, uh, what is being hidden from you right now or something like that, go watch that reading. Like, I feel like something is being hidden from you, but you'll, you're going to, 
probably like what it is that is being hidden from you, you know, for the most part. Um, it, or you're going to have options is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, um, okay. Anyway, so it's interesting too, because it says helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of wands, and it says, God, the good in himself, it says protection prevents discovery of secret crimes, saves exiles. So this is interesting because these are kind of like contradictory energies. So, um, so yeah, so we'll get back to this one. We'll get back to this one. But anyways, in the conscious goal position, we have the magician. So again, I feel like you are creating your life. You're making manifest the things that you want through your thoughts, through your mindset, through your thought patterns. I feel like maybe you, you, I don't know why I keep, I keep getting indoctrination, indoctrination. You're being indoctrinated into something, right? Higher levels of commitment, higher levels of even spiritual wisdom is being bestowed upon you right now. Okay. Because you're asking for it. So God, spirit, source, energy, uh, whatever, whoever you believe in, the angels are giving this to you right now. Okay. In the, um, in the unknown influence position, we have the page of wands with er Erethel, the angel Erethel card number 27. So that's nine. It says the preventing God, it says propagation of light confounds the wicked and slanders saves from enemies. So this is in the unknown influence position. So I feel like you could be getting a message from someone that that's a really good message. It's like, it gives you hope in your future. This could just be some really good news coming into you uh, soon pile number twos. Okay. With the page of wands, you could be ready for adventure. You could be wanting to travel or just like, you could be thinking about adventure a lot and what that means for you to you, what that means for like, maybe you and someone else. If you want to, you know, go visit someone else or go take someone else, um, on a vacation or go with someone else on a vacation. Okay. So with the page of wands here, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I feel like whatever that's been preventing you from like traveling or going to explore, I feel like um, you're about to, you're just about to leap into something or you're about to, you're just in the beginning stages of, okay, well, let me look at some flights or let me look at some Airbnbs or hotels or things of that nature. Like you're kind of inquiring. You yourself could be inquiring about like what it is that you want to do. I feel like you, you want to kind of explore, you want to spread your wings, so to speak, like this angel's doing. So in the past position, we have the three of swords with Rehael, okay, card number 39, and it says the quickly forgiving God. It says love and submission cures illness, influences paternal love, gives long life. So what I'm getting is that in the past position, maybe you went through something, maybe you endured some type of heartbreak, you know, or some type of like, I wanted to say something other than heartbreak. Like I wanted to say heartbreak, but I also wanted to add it like some type of like disappointment or even betrayal, you know, and you really had to like give yourself the time and the energy that you needed to forgive someone because you know that harboring resentment is like drinking poison, expecting someone else to become sick from it you only get sick, you know, and that other person just goes and continues to live their life, you know, how they want to live it or, you know, whatnot. And I feel like in the past uh, position and in the recent past, you know, you have really been protected. You know, this angel has uh, like on the armor of God, so to speak. So it says the quickly forgiving God. And although they're hurt, they're still courageous and they still have a lot of strength within them. They're not going to, you know, cause a ruckus. They're really going to maybe mourn what happened, but they're going to move forward um, and do so resiliently. Okay. And this is really beautiful. This is, this is really a good uh, card and it's, you're very wise pile number um, twos, very wise. Okay. So it says in the approaching influence, we have the four of pentacles with 
Mezriel, okay, the angel Mezriel, card number 60. It says God liberating the oppressed. So it says self atonement. It says cure. See, and that's so interesting. It's like you forgiving yourself, right? You have forgiven yourself for whatever maybe you felt that you put yourself through or th that you allowed yourself to go through, okay? With the approaching influence being the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're holding on to the good. You're holding on to the good. And it's not like you're doing it naively. So you're doing it for yourself. <laughs> Pile number twos. Okay. It says self atonement cures mental illness, deliverance from persecution. Yeah. It's like you, you delivered yourself from your own persecution. You delivered yourself from thinking that you didn't deserve something. And this could have been love. You know, I feel like you were breaking your own heart for whatever reason, even if that was a, even if you weren't intending to do it just by like thinking certain things or by doing certain things, this is what you were doing, you know? So in the, uh, inner resources slash talent position, we have the fool with the angel, Veulia, 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 sorry, y'all, the pronunciations, oof. <laughs> but we have a uh, angel with the card number one. Okay. It says the exalting God. It says will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertaking. So your inner resources and talent is to like Winston Churchill once put so gracefully, uh, you know, success means going from failure to failure without the lack of enthusiasm and what that means is you have to hit certain pitfalls and continuously get up, dust yourself off, try again until you hit the jackpot, until you win big, right? Until you get what you want or the things that you've intended, okay? And I feel like you don't give up on yourself. You're always down to start over. You're always down to start fresh. You know, I feel like maybe, maybe you kind of maybe recently been like, oh, <laughs> you know, kind of like, <laughs> you know, uh, again, but you you don't mind it because you know it's going to lead to what you want eventually. You know, it's not the matter of if, but when, okay? So again, you're entering this whole new state of being and I feel like you're so used to entering new states of being and new lands and new opportunities and things of that nature. You could be entering into some a new connection with someone who is very reciprocal, someone you respect, someone who you're equally yoked with or you are just very balanced with, right? And uh, this is new for you as well, pile number twos, okay? So in How Others See You, we have the Knight of Wands with Hayuai, Hayuai. Hayua? Yeah, Hayua. So um, this is card number 24. Again, six. Okay. So um, it says God, the good in himself. And it says protection prevents discovery of secret crimes, saves exiles. Save exiles. Okay. So what I'm getting with this Knight of Wands and how people see you, people see you as creative. People see you as spontaneous. People see you as very passionate. Um, pile number twos. People could also see you as a little fickle as you not knowing what you want or being very passionate about one thing and kind of bouncing around from place to place or thing to thing. But I feel like, uh, I feel like people are still kind of used to the old you. I feel like you've changed and you have really matured, you know, especially with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is like on a new level. The Hierophant is, uh, Re like being indoctrinated into a new level, right? And I just feel like people might see you still as this kind of like young person who doesn't really know what they want or where it is that they're going. But I feel like it says God, the good in himself, you're protected, right? So even if people do see you still as like this young person who maybe, you know, doesn't really know what exactly what they want out of life, you do know what you want out of life, pile number uh, twos, and you're getting it. So um, in the hopes and fears position, we have the page of pentacles with Azilel, card number 13. And it says, God sung above all. It says loyalty and allegiance, friendship and reconciliation. So in the hopes and fears position, I feel like you're calling, uh, 
you're being called to really take that next step, right? You know, you see this little angel boy or girl who's like singing and they're going like up the steps. Um, I feel like you're being called right now to go up to this next step of commitment to really learn, to really just become a student again, to just absorb everything that you've been taught and everything that you're learning from um, the recent past and beyond that, right? Um, I feel like, you know, you could be really focused on financial literacy too is what I'm getting and just wanting to really learn and grow and cultivate uh, what you need to. You just really do want to be a student again. You want to be taught, right? Um, and with loyalty and allegiance, friendship and reconciliation, I feel like your hopes is to really be committed, to really be um, loyal to the people around you and to have that loyalty back. But I also fear that you, you fear that you might not get that back in return. Okay. But I feel like there is nothing to fear, especially with the outcome card being the 10 of cups. Okay. And it says hi, Haya L angel Haya L. And this is so sweet. Like this little depiction, um, of this family here and this angel with this harp and, you know, really loving, um, loving their family, loving their, you know, their children on this card. Okay. It says card number 71, God, master of the universe. It says divine warrior confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. And that's what you're experiencing. That's what you're about to experience. Pile number um, twos is like this victory and peace that you have been so longing longing and searching for it's it's coming into your life and this is this mind-bending reality that you're about to enter into this one of peace and tranquility and emotional fulfillment okay with with your loved ones so let's pull some more cards spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number twos excuse me i think i called you pile number ones my bad pile number twos Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number two spirit. Uh, what mind-bending reality are our pile number two is about to enter into? So you guys got four cards. Look at this. What did I say? Romance. Card number 23 says, romance, it is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Okay. So when, so when you're watching this, hmm, you might about to be uh, consecrating something my dears. So we have card number 10 with authenticity. It says who I truly am is good. Indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. Exactly. You're becoming yourself. You're becoming so comfortable with who you are and, um, comfortable in your skin, comfortable with, um, just who you have become pile number to, to the point where other people might not realize how much you've changed and how much you've transformed. But it's not up to other people to realize that. It's up to you to own it, know it, and trust it, and just be about it, right? So we have card number 15 with glamour. It says, into this mirror, I now see the realms of possibility. So exactly. I feel like you, you are starting to realize how beautiful of a person you are inside and out. I'm just getting that. Point blank, period. Well, wow, okay, so you guys got five cards, but I'm just going to keep them. We have card number 16 with joy, okay, with the Ten of Cups. It says, as I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. I feel like, yes, joy and light is completely radiating from you. And, you know, you're just feeling good. You're feeling good, and I feel like this has been a long time coming, okay? We have card number 28, knowledge. It says, let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. I feel like you're learning from your past, right? You really are accepting and embracing your past so you can grow into your future and not make the same mistakes or, you know, perceiving mistakes that, you know, maybe you felt like you've made in the past, okay? You're becoming this whole new, whole new person, um, pile number twos and then we have card number 33 creativity it says creativity by all above and all below let me connect let creativity flow and that's interesting because it says let me con 
connect above and below. And then this one says by all above and by all below. So I feel like you're really exercising your creativity. You could be getting ready for your 33 year, the Jesus year, so to speak. And you really just want to embody and evoke creativity, love, prosperity, beauty, you know, just the glory of life. You know, you want that for yourself. Okay, so let's pull one more card to end out your reading. Pile number two, clear, concise, accurate messages, advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number two to close out the reading spirit. Last card. So interesting, we have 15 and 16. I just noticed that now. Tell us more, spirit, advice, guidance, and wisdom. In regards to the mind-bending reality, pile number two is about to enter into. Whew, card number 41. We have a higher view, okay? So I feel like you're just being objective. You're just, you're going with the flow of life. You're going with the flow of life because you're entering into this portal of uh, an initiation. You're in, you're going up a level in life, pile number, um, pile number twos, whether that's with romance, whether that's just in, in your joy experience and, and what you want to enjoy on this earth, you know, you're really kind of like staking your claim and like just being immersed into a higher mindset, right? So let's read a little bit of this, the key concepts here. So we have card number 41. It says a higher view, seeing from a higher perspective, conscious neutrality, letting go of judgment and assumptions, non-attachment, the ability to remain unbiased. Yeah. So I feel like you're just letting go a lot of what no longer serves you. You're kind of like growing into yourself. You're growing up. You know, you're not you're not trying to be judgmental anymore. You kind of are like above it all. You know, I'm getting that feeling of being above it all, <laughs> knowing that certain things are above you. So you're not even going to sweat the small things anymore. You know, you're just going to really enjoy your life because, you know, life is very delicate and fragile. And I feel like you're just you know that and you're maturing and you just want to help people. You want to co-create with the divine and you want to, you know, maybe even be in a partnership. You don't want to do things alone, you know. So with that being said, pile number two's beautiful reading. Thank you so much for, you know, staying to the end with me. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the readings provided here today. Again, pile number twos, if you're interested in a personal reading, my email will be in the description box down below. Also, this is a dialogue. This isn't a monologue. Please let me know what you think, your thoughts, comments, cares, concerns uh, in, the, um, in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, again, my dreamy dreamers, I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this full card in regards to the mind bending reality that you're entering into right now. So with the full card here, I feel like you are entering into this reality of collaboration and stardom. You could be like getting into like this group project, whether you're in college or like kind of furthering your higher education and you're just kind of like always kind of clumped together in groups or something like that. This is about a group of three though. Look at this. Like literally we have this full card. When do you ever see the full card as a group of three? And then we have three little baby angels here with the sun card. Okay. Come on. What is going on? I just noticed this right now. And everyone else, every other card is alone. There's no other person or thing maybe this lion but i don't even know if that's a real lion what what is happening here that is such a synchronicity okay so again you're entering into this state of collaboration that you've never done before i feel like you could be working with multiple people right now whether that's 
however it fits into your life pile number threes you could be like really entering into a new whole new group of people okay like a whole new group of people and you guys are all so cohesive like things just work and i feel like the mind bending reality of it is like I'm getting something about mind, body, and spirit too. Like mind, body, and spirit, the holy trinity. That's what I'm getting. Pile number threes. Wow. I'm shocking myself. So I'm getting something about the holy trinity, the father, the, the father, the son, and the holy spirit, right? The the father is, it really used to even, I'm because I'm, I'm not getting like, a patriarchal theme to this. <laughs> I'm not even getting a matriarchal theme to this. I'm just getting, you know, how in the Christian mythology or whatever, uh, it's Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But in uh, ancient Egypt, it was actually Isis, um, Horus, and who else? Gosh darn, who was the other person? Osiris, right? It was Isis. Horus and Osiris, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm getting like something about the Holy Trinity. The trifecta is about to come into play, right? And it's in a beautiful way, in a beautiful way. Like, come on, the first two cards, there's three figures in the cards. Like, you can't make this up. That is mind bending enough. Okay, so let's hop into it again. A fresh beginning, a fresh beginning where you're collaborating with people left and right. And I feel like you're collaborating in threes. It's you're always working in a set. It's a set. It's not like a pair. It's not just in a pair, right? It's not just in, um, just alone. It's a set. Okay. And that's the mind bending reality of it. And it's interesting because look at how this seven of cups is even looking at these three people. Like, I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah. And they're holding like a, I don't know what that, uh, um, sand something. I forgot what, what this is called, but they're holding this thing for time. It, you know, it, excuse me. It ta it's talking about time. Like, huh? This is interesting. We'll get into that, but wow. Sorry. I had to take a little moment to like regroup. Cause I'm like, that is startling accurate starting startlingly accurate okay so again i digress let's move forward bottom of the deck here we have the two of swords with aniel um card number 37 three and seven that's 10 deduce 10 that's one okay it says god lord of all virtues it says breaking the circle lifts opposing barriers and brings victory so um i'm getting you're entering a state of peace and fluidity as well and where there's going to be a lot of calm waters as long as you stay in a meditative state pile number three is that's really what i'm getting continue to meditate is what i'm getting continue to cultivate that peace from within and it's going to be emitted uh or in your external reality as well pile number threes okay so hopping straight into your reading we're doing the celtic cross layout spread and you know i'll kind of intertwine um the freestyle with it but in the you now heart of the matter position we have the sun card this is beautiful best card in the deck and we have uh with the angel Mayel, this is such a pretty name, Mayel. Um, card number 64 again is 10. Okay, so deduce 10, that's one and zero. One again, it says the vivifying God. Okay, so it says restoration of life, protection from adversaries, adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. Okay, so again, I feel like working in a set, in a like collaborative effort is really you're going to be, this is like your new reality. It's like everything, whenever you work on something is going to be in a group of three. And I think you're going to start realizing that. And I also think this has something to do with like the Holy Trinity aspect of your, of your, and I think this has something to do with like the Holy Trinity aspect, the kind of like, you know, the Christian mythology of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, but I'm getting it's the trifecta, mind, body, spirit, mind, body, soul, uh, Isis, Horus, and um, 
Osiris, you know, it's like the resurrection <laughs> and it's like the key components, the fundamental components that's allowing this resurrection, right? You see how these two babies are blowing these horns or something like that. It's like, and it's restoration of life. Yeah. Bringing forth new life, you know, regenerative. Okay. And I feel like it's happening in threes. Something is happening in threes for you, pile number three and pile number three. I just, again, just blowing my mind. It's mind bending for me at very least. So <laughs> I could only imagine, you know, what you guys are like, you're like, whoa, what the heck? So in the, we have the blockage slash challenge position. I like to call these two cards the crux of the reading as it pertains to the Celtic cross, kind of like the overall synopsis of the reading. We have the Knight of Cups, right? With Angel Ariel. So um, it says card number 46 again with the tens. What is happening? It's like tens across the board. First, we had at the bottom of the deck card number 37. You add three and seven, that's 10. And then we have card number 64 with the sun. You add that together, that's 10. Then you have the Knight of Cups. You add that together. I mean, with 46, you add that together, that's 10. I'm startled. What is happening? Pile number... Um, threes this is trippy this is this is wow this there's a lot of synchronicities in this reading already but again blockage slash uh, slash challenge position we have the knight of cups card number 46 it says the revealing god it says perception and revelation discovers hidden treasures reveals secrets of nature okay so i have a feeling like the sun and the knight of cups you're very passionate about life right now pile number threes i feel like uh you know you're really putting your all creatively right now okay um and <clears throat> i feel like you could be kind of emotional too like just wrapped up in emotions in a good way um as well because you're i feel like you're defending your position about something you're stay you're saying you're staying steadfast on your belief systems as it pertains to uh, this creative endeavor that you're uh, being ushered into or just kind of like flexing your creativity muscle, so to speak, right now, okay, with the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands here. So in the conscious goal um, position, we have the Ace of Cups with Nathael, okay? Um, Card number 54, it says, God, the king of heaven. It says, rejuvenation obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. So we have restoration of life and gives long life here with the ace of cups. I feel like in the conscious goal, you know, position, you've been wanting this new this new love, okay, or, or this new revelation of love, whether that be for self, whether that be for another, whether that, look at here, oh my goodness, we have the three of pentacles here. This is something about collaboration. This is something about collaboration. I feel like maybe you're you're putting all of your love and devotion into a collaborative effort in the near future, and it's really going to pan out really well because you, they say uh, two heads are better than one, so imagine three, right? And this is something about the trifecta. This is something about working in a, a group or not even just working in a group, but like the Holy Trinity, go look up the Holy Trinity as it pertains in different mythologies too, whether that be in ancient Egyptian mythologies or something. Cause I know three, especially as it pertains to the Holy Trinity, it's not just a Christian based or what is it? Catholic, whatever it is, Catholic or Christian or something mythology. It is, it is a universal like story, right? So Go check that out, pile number three. That's, this is trippy. This is trippy. Okay, so um, again, with the Ace of Cups here and the Three of Pentacles, you're finding complete enjoyment, complete love and devotion in working with maybe a group of three people and working it with um, others to come up with something really beautiful is what I'm getting to. Uh, in the unknown influence, we have the Four of Swords with High ha, ha, Hiel, card number forty-one, the God of Trinity. I, I don't know what else. This is blowing me. Pile number threes, the God of Trinity. 
And what did I keep saying? The Holy Trinity. I swear I'm just like, what? I swear I, like, can y'all see that's what it says? The God of Trinity. My camera isn't that good, so forgive me, but oh my goodness. Whew. Anyways, so oh, let me just gather myself. So we have the Four of Swords with ha Hahael, card number 41, the God of Trinity. So it's something about this Holy Trinity. Look it up, pile number threes, because y'all are, y'all got a mission. That's for sure. It says mission protection against slander and impious people, okay? So, um yeah with the four of swords in the unconscious position you could be feeling like you need a lot of rest you could be very tired uh maybe that you've kind of feeling like out of body or like you have no energy or something like that or that you're healing or something pile number threes okay i feel like you could be mentally drained sometimes okay I feel like you're really mustering up this inner strength, though, with uh, this angel being on this lion to continue to do what you need to do, okay? Especially with um, the judgment card being uh, at the bottom of this four of swords. It says, God hidden in darkness, atonement of errors destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. So, And it says, mission protects against slander and, and impious people. <clears throat> So what I'm also getting against it with this is that you're very protected. You could be feeling tired and drained because maybe someone is like thinking about you a lot. Someone's like really, you're heavy on someone's mind and you're like, why am I feeling so tired all the time? And it could be like someone who, you know, maybe doesn't have the best intentions for you or something like that, but you're still protected. You don't have anything to worry about with this person because you're protected by God, by spirit, by source. Okay. So there's nothing to worry about. You might just feel a little drained of your energy though. Okay. So in the past position, influ uh, past position, uh, past influence position, ex excuse me, we have the Ten of Pentacles with Manadel, card number 36. It says the honorable God. It says inner and outer work helps one keep their jobs, job protects against disaster. So with the Ten of Pentacles here, I feel like you're protected. You really do have a, a lot of abundance and stability that's available to you or that's coming in for you in this mind bending reality that you're entering. I feel like even in the recent past, you know, you've been protected. Your finances have been protected. Your livelihood has been protected. Okay. Um, with the approaching in the approaching influence position, we have the seven of cups with Azalea and it's card number 47. It says, God, the just judge. It says contemplation makes the truth known in leading proceedings in leading proceedings. Where is my brain? In legal proceedings. So it says contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. So with the seven of cups, I have a feeling like, especially as it pertains to it being in the approaching influence position, you are going to have a lot available to you, especially with the sun being on top of this seven of cups, right? The truth is coming out. Things are about to be revealed. This could be about like some type of third party situation too. And not like that pile number. Um, yeah, so this could be about like a third party situation. I, I usually don't get that in readings, but you know, this could be about another person or like a third party situation too, that this truth is being revealed with the seven of cups. Because I feel like it says contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. And then we have the sun card here. And the sun is about like truth. Like there's three things you can't hide, the sun, moon, and the truth, right? So with the seven of cups, I have a feeling that, um, you know, there could be a lot of options or confusion that's clearing up soon as well with the seven of cups because the seven of cups could be like you know talking about illusions or things of that nature right but something's about to be revealed here so with these three little bait i don't know though i don't think it's like anything bad i think it has something to do i don't even think it's third party i really don't like saying that i feel like i've 
you watch so many, you, you know, when people watch so many YouTube readings, oh, you know, that kind of the perpetuation of that gets stuck and you kind of do just want to offer everyone like an example. But I'm not getting like three of cups in like, oh, someone's like cheating or something like that. No, I'm getting collaboration. I'm getting unity. The, the father, the son, the Holy Spirit. I'm getting like goodness. I'm getting something with that. But I feel like with the seven of cups here in the approaching influence, it does say contemplation makes the truth known in legal proceedings. I have a feeling this might have something to do with legality or paperwork or like, you know, should I sign this person into a deal or should I incorporate this person? But I feel like this is going, this is having something to do with, um, work partnership collaboration this is a collaboration and it's it's not an unknown collaboration either it's uh yeah it's like hmm it's it's three people wanting to work together or it's three situations needing to come together right so again, so uh, let's move on. We have in the inner resources slash inner resources slash talent position. We have the seven of wands with Ray Ayel, Ray Ayel, Ayel. card number 29, the expected God. It says liberation, deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. OK, so I love this. Um I feel like you stand up for yourself. You stand up for your convictions. You stand up for what you're passionate about. Like I said earlier, pile number um, threes. And you know, you're right to do so. You're right to do so. I feel like when you love, you love hard. When you're emotional or when you're passionate, you don't, you don't think it's wrong. You know how some people are like, oh, well, don't be so super emotional. I feel like in certain instances, it's healthy, it's cathartic to let your emotions out and to let your truth be heard. And this is what I'm getting, right? Because you're so in sync, right? I'm getting the triangle too, for some reason, like the Holy Trinity, mind, body, spirit, the trifecta. Um, I feel like you have this endowment. You're supposed to be this type of person. And that's why you stand up for yourself. You defend yourself and, and your right to, you know, convey your emotions. Pile number threes. In the how other people see you, we have the ace of cups overflowing with love, with compassion, with sincerity, with passion, with emotions, right? Overflowing. We have angel Nathael, okay? Card number 54. And it says, God, the king of heaven. It says, rejuvenation obtains the mercy of God and gives long life, okay? So you know that love is all encompassing. And I feel like you bring love into whatever you do. You bring your mind, body, and spirit to whatever it is that you do. And this is what I'm getting with this three of pentacles, right? You resurrect things with your love, with your compassion, with your grace, with your, you know, just your passion period. Okay. In the, um, hopes and fears position, we have judgment with I, I'm a Maya. Yeah. I'm a Maya. Uh, card number 52, it says God hidden in, in darkness. It says atonement of errors destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. So whoever's draining you of your energy pile number, um, this could be a, a, a third person too, draining you of your energy and you don't even know who this person is. Or you, you know, you could, you have an idea of who or what this could be, but you just not, you don't know for sure. You don't know how to find out and things of that nature. They're kind of hidden, right? So um, with that being said, I feel like this person is going to get theirs, so to speak, and not, not in a bad way hopefully but just in a redeeming way like you're going to be redeemed and this person is going to get what's coming to them if they don't you know if they don't have the best intentions when it comes to you okay so in the uh in the outcome position we have the four of wands with maha saya angel maha saya card number five it says god the savior it says rectification helps one live in peace with everyone exactly so I feel like you're becoming more more harmonious you're becoming more balanced you're becoming more um stable 
now pile number threes and this is really great okay with the four of wands you could be look with the four of uh with the ten of pentacles being on top of the four of wands here you could be experiencing financial freedom very soon as well and this is uh because of a concerted effort with two other people okay this could be at work this can be in business this could be just uh with your family too i feel like everyone's coming together for the betterment of everyone is what i'm what i'm trying to say okay because there's a lot of peace here and there's a lot of cooperation is what I, i've been trying to say gosh why did that take so long to come out but um there's a lot of cooperation here okay whether you know this or not. You see how these these people are in step with each other. They're in alignment. They're in harmony. It's not like a disconfigurement, okay? It, they're in alignment. They're in harmony, okay? So, yes. Let's pull some more cards. Pile number threes. Tell me more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What mind-bending realities are pile number threes entering into right now? What mind-bending realities are pile number threes entering into right now, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. What mind-bending realities are pile number threes entering into right now, Spirit? Okay, we have card number 41 with imagination. It says, imagination now sets me free. Divine ones, I send my thanks to thee. Lovely. I love that. So I feel like your mag your imagination is really heightened right now. You have like a really, like I said, a really good creativity, like a gr creative spark that, you, you know, even if it makes you emotional, I feel like things, you could be feeling heightened emotion right now, but it's because you're very creative. Like this, Im your imagination is really coming to play here, right? God is in the details. Tell us more, spirit. What mind-bending reality is our pile number threes entering into right now? Mind-bending realities. Reality that our pile number three is entering into right now, spirit. What? Thank you. Okay, so we have card number six, letting go. It says, allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. Okay, so you're letting go of something. I feel like you're letting go of something that your mind maybe has been playing tricks on you and you're letting go of it once and for all because it's not it's not doing it for you it's not working pile number threes whatever your mind is saying it's i feel like you're looking at something your mind can be deceiving you right now or you're letting go of something that's draining you like i said you're letting go of something that's draining you right your imagination could be getting the best of you also right now. And you're just finally letting go of it. You're like, forget it. <laughs> we have card number 28 with knowledge. It says, let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. So this could be like ancestral downloads that you're getting. You know, that you're like, yeah. You could be getting ancestral downloads that maybe is... <sighs> kind of heavy you know it's we have card number 32 at the bottom with confidence by earth air water and fire let my confidence take light burn higher i feel like you have to you're you're starting to have more confidence about yourself and god's spirit source energy is ushering you into a state of confidence you got to let go of something that you're feeling maybe you're not adequate for your mind playing tricks on you just about certain things um pile number threes yeah and i feel like this could have something to do with your confidence it's like i'm getting is it's it's draining you of your confidence whatever this is okay forgive yourself let it go let it go baby okay let's see last card clear concise accurate messages advice guidance and wisdom Ooh. Okay, look, this one came straight out. Card number 39, wish upon a star. Okay, so your wishes are being granted right now for you, pile number threes. Your wishes are coming true. The things that you've wanted, they're happening, okay? Whatever happened in the past, let it go because it's taking its toll on you. And 
you shouldn't let it, you know, it's taking its toll on you. It could be draining you of your energy and your vital resources, right? Your life force. Okay. That's what I'm getting here with this letting go. And I feel like your confidence is coming out and you just need to let it shine. Pile number threes. Okay. Because you're going to be working a lot with people. So you need to let yourself take up space. I said this in another reading too. You need to let your true authentic self come out and not um, close in on yourself, right? And look, we have card number seven, a grand symphony. This is all about working in harmony with people, okay? I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to read the key concept of card number 39. So to end off your reading, pile number threes, it says card number 39, wish upon a star, key concepts, intentions based on your desires and aspirations, the act of consciously committing to a vision, sacrificing something of value, gambling on yourself, trusting that dreams can become reality, the importance of daydreams, okay? So we also have card number 27. I really want to read this to you. Because I know, I know what this means. It means like being a part of the whole, right? Like obviously a grand symphony, this uh, a grand symphony card, uh, as it implies card number 27. It says uh, key concepts, inclusivity, being part of the whole, removing bias, seeing the interconnectedness of all, knowing that everything you do has a consequence, unity, consciousness, the end of division. So I feel like you've been feeling like, an other like you've been feeling divisive uh in the past and but the mind-bending reality is coming into you work better as a collective you work better when things are in harmony you work better as a group or in collaboration you're not meant to do this alone pile number threes and i feel like you're you're letting go of that notion of being alone and i feel like it's because you're starting to have a lot more confidence in yourself you could be seeing yourself speaking up in at work or speaking up to your family or you know just speaking up to your friends or like having more of a say with things and not feeling like you're other like you don't belong you don't have a seat at the table. You do have a seat at the table. And I feel like you're understanding this and you're you're hoping for the endowment of your true light to shine and letting go of insecurities or things of that nature, okay? So with that being said, pile number threes, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. Beautiful reading. If this reading helped you in any way, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, share it with anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Um, again, if you're interested in a personal reading, my email is in the description box down below. And uh, again, this is a, a dialogue. This is not a monologue. Leave some comments, insights, takeaways from the reading. You know, let's really make this place a home. Let's make it a community, okay? And uh, let's get to know one another down in the comment section, okay? I love you guys so much, pile number threes. I love you, my dreamy dreamers. I'll see you in our next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number fours. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose the universe in regards to the mind-bending reality you are about to enter into, okay? So this universe card does represent the world card and uh, it's card number 21. It's completion. It's in infinite, right? It's completing one cycle, going straight into the next, right? It's kind of being in step, in tow with the universe, with the world, right? Being successful, traversing a lot of, um, you know, turbulent times or transgressions or just, you know, being in the world, but not of it, knowing that you are infinite, knowing that you are made of stardust, knowing that, you know, there's so much to learn, know, and, uh, discover right i'm getting discovery about yourself about others about what it is that you want where it is that you're going and it is mind bending right like this card in and of itself is like perplexing okay you're dancing with the universe you're you're in step you're in alignment right in perpetuity is what i'm getting um so yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands with Daniel, the first name that I could pronounce with ease, right? 
So we have the angel Daniel with the king of wands, card number 50. It says, God of mercy, God, the merciful judge. It says, eloquence gives answers to those in doubt. Okay, so I feel like the universe, God's spirit source energy is asking a lot for me, for, from you right now. Um, pile number fours. I'm just getting that off bat, okay? And it's interesting because we have the king of wands, card number 50, but we also have the five of cups and the five of swords here. So you could be seeing five, five, five a lot lately, uh, being inundated into like a whole new world, a whole new universe, a whole new reality, right? Um, and a whole lot of change, right? But I feel like if anyone is up for the task, you are, right? If anyone's up for the challenge, so to speak, you are, okay? Uh, again, I know I'm kind of bouncing around here, but we have the Ace of Pentacles here. And this Ace of Pentacles is a gateway card, okay? So there is a portal opening up for you right now, okay? So, uh, well, oh my goodness. Not only do we have the Eight of Pentacles, but we also have the Eight of Cups, the two gateway cards in the entire deck, okay? So there's portals, 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 portals opening up for you right now, okay? But I digress. Let's begin. I'm going to do the Celtic cross spread layout for you and, you know, kind of hop around with our freestyle, you know, method, okay? So in the you now heart of the matter position, we have the seven of pentacles with Nima Maya, Okay, Angel Nima Maya, we have card number 57, the lovely God. It says discernment, general prosperity, and the deliverance of prisoners. So I feel like, again, God, spirit, source, energy, your angels, ancestors, and guides are really asking a lot from you right now. And it's funny because this angel kind of looks like a young person, like a almost like a a child, right? Uh, an adolescent. And I feel like you might not feel like you're ready for the call, you know, like the call of duty, but you know, spirit knows you're ready, you know? And, um, I feel like you're leading the way from, uh, for others. You're a leader pile number four, pile number fours. And God spirit knows that God indoctrinated God spirit source energy, the most high indoctrinated you into this life to lead others, to kind of lead others into the way, right? To Because you have a gift of discernment, right? You have a gift of weighing the pros and the cons before you just kind of jump into things. And, you know, I think that's, that is a gift that I don't think I know that that's a gift because a lot of people don't have discernment, you know, um, about things, right? Especially with the Knight of Pentacles right underneath the Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of Pentacles here, so you could be dealing, you could be a Earth sign, a Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus. You can, so yeah, you could be an Earth sign, or you could maybe just be dealing with a lot of external things right now that are kind of like out of almost like you don't really have control over, but you're able to offer your insight and your guidance to these things, right? So in the challenge slash blockage position, or I like to say the crux of the reading, right? These two cards usually stand for like the overarching kind of theme of the reading. Uh, pentacles, again, Ace of Pentacles with Kathiel. And um, yeah, Ka Ka Kahathel, the angel Kahathel, card number eight, and it says the adored God, divine blessings, drives away evil spirits, rules agricultural production. So what I'm getting, pile number <laughs> four, is, is a lot is coming into you. A lot of blessings are being bestowed to you right now, but there's also a lot of like maintenance you have to do with these blessings, right? It's not like, okay, I'm just free and in the clear and like all these blessings are being presented to me and I get to, you know, just have fun and, you know, gallivant. No, you have to tend to these blessings. You have to tend to this garden that you're growing. And, um, you know, you know, to whom much is given, much is required. And I feel like you understand this and, you know, you're, it's not a challenge to you. You're, you're with it. You're, you're up for the, you're up for it, right? You're, you've already prepared to do this work. Pile number four is okay. In the conscious goal position, we have the five of cups with Vualaya. 
the angel V U Aliyah, I'm probably butchering this name, so please excuse me in advance. Card number 43 says God, King, and Ruler. And it says prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. So that's the conscious goal is to kind of like take your losses or whatever, how, however that saying goes, like kind of just, you know, chuck up the losses and, you know, leave with what you have you know, which is still that two of cups. It could be partnership. It could be a network of people. It could be connections that you still have that, you know, you're just now kind of like realizing this through whatever, like maybe you went through whatever sadness you went through or whatever you're asking about, right? Because whatever you're asking for, sometimes you, certain things have to be removed so you can kind of like get to your goal, right? Get to the things that you're asking for or saying that you want. And that's what the five of cups to me symbolizes. Uh, I know I used to talk about Neville on this channel a lot, Neville Goddard, uh, the thought leader, and he talks about a bridge of incidents, right? So the bridge of incidents basically means like whenever you ask for something, it's going to be given to you. But it's like, as soon as you kind of like set the trajectory, trajectory into the universe of whatever it is that you're asking about, something's going to happen, right? It's like a catalyst is going to happen to kind of like send you on your way to getting what it is that you asked for. And uh, Neville kind of considers that a bridge of incidents, right? So let's say, oh, I, I want, uh, I really want to have my own business, right? And let's say you work for someone, you might get fired, right? And you kind of in the moment think, oh my gosh, I just lost my job. What the heck? But in reality, you're about to get what you want because now you have the free time to actually start up your own business and that's just a vague example but you know I you I feel I hope you all see where I'm kind of going with that right so I'm sorry y'all this uh, yeah okay that's better um but again so uh in the unknown influence position we have the five of swords with Ahai Ahel Card number 62, it says, God, the highest being. It says, desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. So with the five of swords, I feel like, you know, you're leading, you're winning, you're claiming your victory or, you know, in the unknown influence position, maybe, you know, I don't know, like you kind of did what you had to do in order to get the things that you wanted, Right. And with the five of swords, it kind of represents winning at all costs, right? But it's like a mental game. It's like you're playing chess, not checkers. And maybe certain people had been used as collateral. Pile, pile number four is I just have to be honest. I just don't know how what other way to say it, you know? But be very conscientious of that. Don't don't hurt people in the process of trying to get to where it is that you're going or try to claim victory by any means necessary, okay? I don't think you're trying to do that on purpose, but just as a caution, you know, be be conscientious of how you're treating others right now, okay? Um, just because you never know when you're going to need a person. You never know when you're going to um, see them back going the way down and it's interesting because i'm getting the will of fortune too with this so with the five of swords just be very conscientious of how you talk to people is what i'm getting as well so in the past in, in the past influence position we have the four of pentacles with Maz masriel uh card number is that 80 no, card number 60. And it says, God liberating the oppressed. It says, self-atonement cures mental illness, deliverance from persecution. So in the past position, I feel like you've been freed. You know, I feel like maybe you were holding on to something. This could have been because of your finances. Maybe you felt like your finances were kind of like stuck or you, it was limited, right? But I feel like you're breaking open into that. You're going, you're getting into a state of, uh, of abundance of the finances that's going to help you to maintain yourself and in, in your surroundings and your community. Okay. So also with the four of pentacles, this could have been a power play or a power struggle that you were going through, right. Um, with yourself or with others as well. In the approaching influence, we have the knight of pentacles. Okay. So you're taking things step by step. You're taking things 
day by day okay and I think that's good I feel like you're you're getting into the swing of things you're getting back into the swing of things back into your routine and it feels good for you okay knight of pentacles we have the angel Lela hell Lila hell card number six it says the praiseworthy god it says light of understanding acquires knowledge and cures illness so again like I'm saying with this knight of pentacles here I feel like you're Again, there's a lot of lights being leading the way, so to speak, right? There's a lot of light being shed here, okay? So a lot of knowledge being gained, a lot of, uh, and this is helping you. For This is helping you, pile number, um, pile number fours. This is helping a lot, okay? So again, with the Knight of Pentacles, you know that there's method to your quote-unquote madness. You know that there you know, being in step with your routine, being methodical, um, being meticulous in what it is that you're doing and how you're assessing certain situations is really going to benefit you during this time as you're kind of entering this mind bending reality um, that's coming in for you. Okay. So in the inner resources and talent position, we have the nine of pentacles with E Ihua, Ihua, the angel Ihua, if I'm pronouncing that right, card number 33. We have the omnipotent God. It says submission to higher order identifies traitors and destroys their plans. Okay. So again, with the nine of pentacles, I feel like in the inner resource and talent position, you're used to being abundant and stable and having enough and even having more than enough and doing things independently. Like you're a very independent person who's kind of like used to taking care of yourself at this point, right? So whatever it is that you have to do to take care of yourself, you're you're open to doing it because you're you this is a part of your identity. It's who you are, right? You know that you're gonna be fine no matter what, you know, uh, you're going to not only be able to live, but to thrive, right? And how others see you, we have the two of swords with Aniel, uh, card number 37. It says, God, Lord of all virtues. It says, breaking the cycle, life lifts opposing barriers and brings victory. So I feel like people see you as victorious. People see you as higher minded and balanced and level headed and able to make a, uh, heart and mind decision, right? Able to uh, follow your heart, but to take your mind with you, right? Also, they could see you as a little guarded too, just because uh, of things that you've been through in the past, right? Maybe past disappointments and things of that nature. With in the uh, hopes and fears position, we have the queen of wands. And this is a very interesting Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is literally the opposite, typically, of the depiction of this card. And it says, this is Angel El Elamaya, card number four. And it says, the hidden God. And it says, divine power guards against men mental troubles. And it's interesting because this, this God or goddess or whatever, they're hidden, right? They're like almost like a little nervous to come out. And that's typically not the queen of wands but i feel like again your hopes and fears are to really live out loud to really show people what you're what you're made of and what you have to bring to the table pile number fours and i feel like your fears is that too you know sometimes you want to be hidden sometimes you want to stay a mystery sometimes you don't know if people will accept you for who you are you know what i mean and I feel like you get a little nervous about that, but you know, I feel as if, um, there could also be some hidden abilities that you have that you're just afraid of showing. You're afraid of kind of like rising to the occasion and like really showing yourself for who you are, which is this King of Wands, which is the maturity and the understanding that you are a leader. Like you've been picked out of the bunch of pile number fours. You can't kind of, you can't hide from your destiny any longer. And that's what I'm getting. Your hope is to really shine, but your fear is also, you. it's almost like you don't want to shine too bright, right? 
but I feel like the universe is kind of just yanking you and making you shine your light. You know, well, not making you, but they're really asking for you to really kind of, they're asking a lot from you, pile number fours. I'm not even going to hold you on that, okay? So in the outcome position, we have two cards. You all got the Eight of Cups with A-E-L, A-I-L. Card number 67, it says, God, the pleasure of man's children. Transformation gives consolation and adversity. And then we have the world again. I think that was fascinating when that came out. Uh, we have the world with Damabaya. Card number 65, it says, God, the source of wisdom. Fountain of wisdom gives success in all ventures. So I feel like you're going to be successful in everything that you do. Everything that you touch turns into gold. And I feel like spirit is really pouring into you right now okay pouring into you because they don't want you to be hidden they don't want you to hide your your brightness any longer they don't want you to hide who you are any longer they want you to take up space pile number four is okay because you're meant to be successful you're meant to have success on earth right you're meant to integrate every ounce of you and to really show who you are and what you're made of okay that's trippy though. We got the uh, world card pretty much twice. Okay. So that's it's definitely a confirmation. So let's pull some more cards, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for cleansing and blessing this deck, for giving our pile number fours clear, concise, accurate messages. What mind bending reality are pile number fours entering into right now, Spirit? What mind bending reality? Our pile number four is entering into right now, spirit. What mind bending reality our pile number four is entering into right now, spirit? Clear, concise, ag accurate messages. So we have card number 42, organization. It says purpose, planning, efficiency now come to me so easily. So I feel like you're getting organized, you're organizing your life, you are really compartmentalizing things and learning what to do and what not to do and you know who to do it with who to share things with right you also might have been attracted to pile number threes as well pile number fours tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number fours what mind-bending reality are they about to enter right now, Spirit? One more card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have card number 19, Inspiration. It says, Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. So not only are you getting organized, but you're feeling very inspired or you're feeling co compelled to take inspired action right now. One more card, Spirit. Just one more card. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What um, mind-bending reality are pile number ones entering into right now, spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. One more card. I'm going to take this card. So we have card number 37, fertility, okay? It says, let all take root, seed and sprout, let new life be all about. Beautiful pile number. Um, fours. At the bottom of the deck, card number 10, authenticity. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am authentic in thought, word, and deed. I feel like you're really being called to show who you truly are. Let the world see the real you, so to speak, okay? How beautiful you are, how fruitful you are, how everything you touch is a success. Everything you touch t turns to gold, so to speak. Pile number um Fours. Figs could come into play here too. You might like be eating a lot of figs or like something about figs. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more. Last card to close out pile number four is reading. Advice, guidance, and wisdom in regards to the mind-bending reality they're entering into. Yeah. Card number 19, we have Waking the Lion. This talks about your inner strength. And you really have a lot to bring to the table, okay? Card number 22, tender embrace, okay? 
not being shy to open up to your partner or to a partner, okay? It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could just be a partnership in a work relationship, but not being afraid to open up to another person, right? Embracing, it says tender embrace, card number 22, embracing someone, okay? And be, being able to do that and not to feel like shut off from people, okay? So I do want to read the key concepts to card number 19 to conclude your reading. Card number uh, fours. So we have card number 19. It says waking the lion. Uh, key concepts. It says boldness, the courage to move forward even without knowing the way. Facing that which is difficult or painful, the audacity to step into the unknown. Exactly. Being bold. Be bold, you know. Let your inspirations guide you. And, you know, be bold in your convictions, pile number four is okay. Because, you know, the universe, God, spirit, source, energy, the most high is really asking a lot from you right now. Because they, they put you in high regard. They expect a lot from you because, you know, they know that you are the person who can do it okay so with that being said my pile number fours i love you all so much my dreamy dreamers if you like this reading if it resonated please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who'd best benefit from the messages provided here today again my pile number fours i love you all so much if you are interested in a personal reading my email is down in the description box down below. Also, this is a dialogue, not a monologue. I would love to hear from you all in the comments. Leave your insights, uh, you know, and let's really start sharing with this community, okay? I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in our next reading. Bye.